I met a man online who uh, lied about his age. I lived in Florida and he lived in Atlanta. And after about a year of talking online, he started having me fly to Atlanta. My mom was very abusive, so he actually positioned himself to be almost like a, a heroic figure that he loved me and he cared about me and he would be the way I could get away from her and her abuse. The year that this was occurring, I went um, twice a month for a year. I was never questioned once. Human trafficking has become the second largest criminal enterprise in the world. We know that human trafficking is something that happens and affects the transportation industry, where a majority of the victims are moved through airports as well as other forms of transportation. The most recent statistics are somewhere in the neighborhood between 60 to 70 percent will pass through an airport during their exploitation. There are many myths surrounding who the victims of human trafficking are. People believe it's something that only affects the, the poor classes or homeless individuals or other things. The reality is, is that human trafficking has the ability to impact any race, age, ethnicity, gender, socioeconomic class, sexual preference, level of academic achievement. Traffickers target whoever they can. I guess the main thing was my confusion. I was young, I didn't have any real relationships with family. I just did what I was told. Everything was kind of a blur as long as I did what I was told. I guess I had what I needed to survive. Many times, human trafficking goes unnoticed right in front of us. By taking the time to look for suspicious behavior, you can help stop this terrible crime happening at the airport and rescue a victim or even save a life. One way of helping you recognize suspicious signs is using the acronym DEER. It stands for DRESS. Are they dressing and acting like a typical young teen in an airport? ENERGY. Do they appear to be tired, confused, or possibly on drugs? AGE. Is there an unusual age difference between the person and their traveling companion? And lastly, RELATIONSHIP. Are they with someone that looks and acts like a parent? When was the last time you saw a young person travel? They're usually upbeat, listening to music on their phone, carrying a backpack or personal luggage. Every week we would travel to the same city, again and again. I was given my clothes, a small amount of money for a snack, and told not to talk to anyone. I was never out of his sight when we were in a public place. A lot of the time, he would even buy the food, so I really had no reason to carry anything other than a cheap phone. Without any money or relationships, the victim is powerless to escape. During every stage of the departure process, there is a chance to intervene. Most teenagers would show signs of excitement around food, candy, and gift shops, right? Use deer to compare to this young man's activity. Notice again how our victim doesn't carry any money, shows little emotion, and doesn't appear to have much of an appetite. When you're sleep deprived, on and off different drugs, you lose your appetite and interest in the normal things that a kid my age would be. In fact, I look back on it and there were many times I don't even remember where I was. More than anything, remember victims are tired and confused they often just don't know how to ask for help or who would even believe them. Sometimes we have to take the initiative for them. You can be the game changer and help bring an end to human trafficking by making airports too risky for traffickers to use. Every time a situation is reported is every time a life can be saved.